So hello, and thank you all for being here today uh, and taking the time to join us. Uh, a special uh, thank you to Frankensolar, of course, for hosting the event uh, and allowing us to participate and to sponsor as well. Uh, today is actually the official launch day for our Fixed Grid Pro flat roof system. Uh, and so we're very excited to share this presentation uh, with everybody here. Uh, my name is Talal Hamadani, and I am a rooftop sales manager for Schleder. Uh, I've been with Schleder for uh, just about two years now, and I currently uh, work out of Windsor, Ontario, where I grew up uh, and still live today. We'd like to start the presentation by introducing the Schleder Group with some background uh, on our roots and our history. Uh, next, we'll discuss our philosophy, followed by the official introduction uh, of the Fixed Grid Pro flat roof system with a breakdown of all the components individually, uh, and we'll wrap it up by uh, talking about some planning and document documentation services that Schleder has to offer. So let's jump right into it. Uh, at Schleder, we support solar. Uh, aside from the play on words and the double meaning here, uh, what exactly does it mean to support solar? Uh, for us, it means that we provide the support needed to drive the quickly growing solar industry forward from the biggest projects to the smallest residential rooftop installations because every project really does matter uh, and every project contributes to changing lives and making the planet a better, safer, cleaner place for us all uh, as well as for future generations. Uh, a little bit of background on the Schleder Group itself. Uh, Schleder is a global company with its main headquarters in Germany, but we also have teams and offices uh, in 21 countries spanning across six continents. Uh, the company was originally founded in 1968 as a metal fabricator, but was rebranded uh, into a solar mounting supplier about 22 years ago in 2001. Um, since then, we have grown to 600 employees worldwide and supplied over 45 gigawatts of racking for solar installations. Uh, in Canada alone, we have supplied over 15,000 projects for installations, and we are currently the number one rooftop mounting solar supplier in Europe. Uh, and we hope that these same results and accomplishments can be replicated in the North American market in the coming years. Uh, as you can see by our history, we've been supporting solar for a while, but as our mission is to support you and your business as a long-term technology partner well into the future, uh, I would like to share with you some exciting news about the exceptional growth we continue to achieve, adding to the story of the Schleder Group. Uh, our latest financial figures are a testament to our strong global market position and ability to deliver value to solar installers like yourselves. Uh, we have achieved 109% revenue growth, reaching 329 million euros in 2022. And our current forecast leads us to believe uh, this will continue in 2023. Uh, this performance highlights the increasing demand for our mounting systems, our ability to deliver in difficult times, and our commitment and consistency in offering top quality, innovative products. Uh, our adjusted EBITDA stands at 53.1 million euros. Uh, this financial stability ensures that we will continue to invest in research and development to bring you cutting edge mounting systems. These six gigawatts of new installations added in 2023 uh, inspires us to do even more as we think about the 28.3 million tons of CO2 emissions saved. Uh, having 62,200 tons of Schleder mounting systems dispatched is something that has set us apart from our competition. Uh, each system adding to uh, our experience, which is the reason why we are the only brand with industry-leading products in each market segment. Uh, our 200 new colleagues added in 2022 also ensures that we can better serve you and maintain the quality that is associated with the Schleder brand. As I mentioned, Schleder was originally founded in 1968 as a metal fabricator and was rebranded into a solar racking company in 2001. Uh, Schleder USA followed soon after in 2005 and we reached our first milestone, the one gigawatt mark in 2007. Uh, the Canadian division was added in 2010 and recently we have merged these two entities into one to create Schleder North America. Uh, in 2018, we received the backing of Golden Square Capital and other investment uh, firms. And just recently in 2023, we reached the 45 gigawatts installed milestone, as well as achieved 100% growth and added 200 additional employees, bringing our global team size to more than 600 employees worldwide. 
We pride ourselves on being able to offer expert support to our clients and partners uh, through every step of the process, from development and testing to assembly and technical consulting, as well as in production, logistics, and customer service. Uh, our large team is experienced in all stages and always available to answer questions and help wherever needed. So next up, we have our product philosophy. Beginning with our uncompromising attention to quality. Uh, all of our systems are engineered to withstand even the harshest weather conditions. Uh, we've dedicated ourselves to improving the durability, safety, sustainability, and especially the quality of our solar mounting systems. Uh, whether we're dealing with uh, stormy winds, torrential rain, excessive snow loads, sandstorms, and even earthquakes, our structures can handle it all. Uh, specifically designed to combat inclement weather in any climate, our mounting systems can withstand the toughest conditions up to 25 years and more. And of course, this is why we continue to offer our 25 year warranty, uh, which is available with all of our rooftop aluminum components uh, to give you maximum peace of mind. So when you buy a solar system uh, from Schleder, you can rest assured it's the industry leader in quality. Our quality control process is painstaking, meticulous, and uncompromising using only the highest quality steel and aluminum. And our engineering team goes above and beyond in the design process to ensure safety and sustainability. Uh, we consider location, temperature, mounting surface, snow loads, corrosion levels, especially for installations close to the coast, uh, wind loads, and substructure materials to avoid all risks associated with solar mounting systems as safety is of the utmost importance to us. So Schleder systems are all made from the highest quality materials, including aluminum, steel, and stainless steel. Uh, for today's presentation, we will focus on the Fixed Grid Pro, uh, which, as I mentioned, is made from aluminum and is therefore backed by our industry-leading 25-year warranty to give our clients peace of mind when choosing the right supplier for their systems. Uh, of course, since we are originally a German company, we do have numerous certifications from German and European agencies uh, including ET and SLV. Uh, in North America, all of our systems and components are approved and certified uh, through UL and CSA with individual test reports and documents uh, available at any time upon request. We also have a very large list of UL approved modules and we are continuing to add more as new panels enter the market. Uh, lastly, we do have a laboratory, a testing center and a welding shop at our headquarters in Germany uh, which makes it very convenient when we require quick answers uh, or tests to be done in-house. So one advantage of being a global company is our access to a steady, secure supply chain from numerous locations worldwide. Uh, currently, our components and systems are being sourced from Europe, Turkey, China, and India, as well as some local production in the USA, South Africa, Australia, and some here in Canada as well. Uh, this allows us to continue to offer the best service and products while remaining competitive. Uh, moving on now to our ballast optimized flat roof system. So we do offer a wide range of solar mounting options ranging from uh, pitched roof systems using pro line rails and rooftop attachments, uh, flat roof ballasted and anchored systems like the fixed grid pro which we will introduce today. Uh, facade systems for vertical or 90 degree installations, uh, fixed tilts like our PV Max and our FS Uno and Duo ground mounts, uh, as well as a 2P and a 1P tracking system. Uh, today we will focus on our ballast optimized flat roof system. Uh, as some of you know already, we currently offer the fixed grid 18, which as the name tells us was introduced in 2018. Uh, like all systems, uh, fixed grid 18 is a solid, reliable, quality built system and we could easily settle and continue to use it, but that's not how we like to do things at Schleder. Uh, so without further delay, I'd like to officially introduce the Fixed Grid Pro to North America. And I'd just like to start off by showing you all a quick animation of the Fixed Grid Pro system itself, uh, which is the next generation of ballasted flat roof systems from Schleder. Uh, a full-size display, along with a variety of individual component samples can actually be seen in the Franken Solar Warehouse downstairs today. 
So we hope that some of you can stop by afterwards uh, and have a chat with us. So Schletter does have a very large research and development team who is constantly searching and brainstorming new ideas to implement new improvements to our product lines. And the introduction of the Fixed Grid Pro is just one example of this. Uh, in a short few years, the team has worked tirelessly to improve on our current system, the Fixed Grid 18, uh, and our hard work has now paid off. I'll just allow this video to play through. So Fixed Grid Pro offers a variety of different tilts, orientations, and configuration options. Uh, this new system is similar to the Fixed Grid 18, but does include some major upgrades uh, and improvements. Our base rail splices no longer require screws or hardware, as they now have a simple, tool-free, self-locking system, which is actually something that you'll see across all of our rooftop products moving forward, and something that we are very excited to be able to offer. Uh, our vertical rail components have also seen a major change. Uh, with the fixed grid 18, we had uh, two components for five degrees, two for 10 degrees, two for 15 degrees, and an additional two shared center rail components. Uh, with the fixed grid pro, we have reduced these eight components down to two easy to use click in style rails uh, that are stacked on top of each other to create a desired angle. Uh, we've also introduced ballast rails that reduce um, that reduce material and make it possible to accommodate any size ballast stone. Um, these ballast rails also use the same self-locking splice, so they can be attached along the span of an array. Uh, lastly, we have taken feedback from installers who sometimes find themselves having to clear gravel or stones off of a roof uh, before installation and addressed it by introducing a gravel tray, making it possible to recycle the stones, the sand, or the gravel while reducing the requirement uh, to purchase additional ballast stones. Fixed Grid Pro has been uh, aerodynamically engineered to reduce ballast requirements by up to 10% compared to Fixed Grid 18. Uh, ease of installation was a top priority with the system, with many components being upgraded to improve installation efficiency and speed. Uh, the system will still be available in south and east-west or dual tilt uh, and is available in landscape orientations with an option for portrait orientation in the process of finalization. So we hope we will be able to offer that option uh, very soon as well. Uh, we will still offer the 5, 10, and 15 degree tilt options. And with the continuing trend towards larger modules, we have designed the system to work with panels with lengths up to 2.5 meters. Uh, for those interested in completing designs um, to submit, we, um, we are always available to, to offer support through Frankensolar. But we also have our user-friendly uh, SCALC3 online web configurator tool which is now up and working, uh, where you can create your own designs and produce BOMs. <clears throat> so here we have all of the components that make up the system, which as you can see, has been reduced drastically uh, compared to the fixed grid 18, making it easier for designing and stocking, as well as for installation on the project sites. Uh, our clamps are now universal, with two clamps working across all systems. Uh, our splices are tool and hardware free, and our vertical rails are a snap and lock design uh, for speed and ease of installation. So Fixed Grid Pro will use the same style of base rails as the previous system, but it does have a, have a new 10 millimeter channel compared to the eight millimeter one uh, on the Fixed Grid 18. The notches in the lower section of the base rail are for our surface protection mats, which are used under each vertical rail component and this is to elevate the base rails uh, from sitting directly on the roof, allowing for a two centimeter gap for uh, rainwater drainage. Uh, these surface protection mats are foil lined on one side uh, to stop any interaction between the EPDM rubber and whichever roof type it is being installed on, and also has an adhesive side uh, to attach to the bottom of the rail for easier installation. So pictured here uh, is also the connector for the base rails, better known as a splice, um, this component has seen a major upgrade on the previous version. So with fixed grid 18, uh, we required four screws that needed to pierce the outside of the base rail and attach to the internal splices to lock them into place. Uh, with fixed grid pro, we have eliminated the need for any splice hardware uh, and introduced a self-locking tool-free splice connector 
that's easy, fast, and extremely convenient for speeding up installation times. Uh, the underside of the splice has a small plate, which has a stop tab and two sharp tabs at an angle in either direction. Uh, we simply push the splice into the base rail until the stop tab won't allow it to go any further. Uh, and the sharp tab on the opposite sides will automatically lock into place and stop the play splice from coming out. Uh, next, we have our vertical rail components, known as the Module Support Pro and the Elevation Pro, uh, pictured here with the easy click-in mechanism. So you'll notice that there are four components pictured here, uh, but two of them are identical, except for the screw and connector, uh, which, is the which is only required when the component is attaching directly to the base rail. Uh, as mentioned, these new uh, vertical rail components are stackable, and, and the two parts can be used uh, to make up all angles from five to 15 degrees. Uh, all setups will have one module support pro in the front, and depending on the desired tilt, uh, we have either one elevation pro in the back for five degrees, uh, two stacked on top of each other for 10 degrees, and as you can imagine, three for 15 degrees. Uh, as the five, 10, and 15 degree tilts are approximate, and based on the length of the module, uh, the module support pro has a swivel head uh, to make sure that we get a flat surface every time, regardless of the variation uh, in angles. And this is just a quick video showing how that clicks in. So in addition to all the component upgrades uh, that help with installation, we have also introduced a new tool to help installers attach the vertical stacking components to the base rails with a simple 90 degree turn of the handle. Uh, and I do actually have a video of this to show you as well. So this is the tool that we use. Uh, using the installation manual, you'll mark the base rails at the points where the vertical components will be attached. Then simply lower the tool into place uh, and place the module support pro into the slot. Uh, you turn the handle 90 degrees and the module support uh, and the component will now be locked into place. Uh, what's also nice about this tool is that it will not allow the component to be put in the wrong way, uh, making things even more convenient for the installation crews. So here again, we lower the tool into place and line up the markings on the tool uh, with the markings you've made on the rail, uh, lower the Elevation Pro into place, and that's it. So you're ready to install your modules at this point. So the next component I'd like to show you is the Ballast Rail Pro. Uh, our ballast rails used to limit us to two sizes of ballast stones, a standard paving stone and a cinder block. Uh, with the ballast rails replacing the ballast trays, we are now able to slide the rails across the base rails, uh, making space for any ballast stone size and weight that the project is requiring. Uh, these base rails also use significantly less material than the ballast trays, which adds up to some sav savings as well. Uh, these, ballast uh, these ballast rails attach to the base rails using an easy turn-in component that we call the uh, Rapid Connector 90. And just like all of Schleder's rooftop rails, they have a tool-free self-locking splice. Uh, you'll notice also that the ballast rails have this upside-down T-shape, which makes it possible to have a shared center rail when uh, additional row of ballast stones is necessary. And here we see how the ballast rails connect to the base rails using the uh, Rapid Connector 90 and a 90 degree turn with a wrench to lock them into place. So next up we have our ballast trays, uh, which can be used with ballast stones, gravel, sand, and other types of ballast. Uh, in the past, we required that a roof be cleared of small stones or gravel before installation uh, and the crews would need to carry the stones off the roofs. Uh, with these ballast trays, we are actually able to close them in using the end caps uh, and fill them with uh, gravel to recycle the materials and save the additional costs of ballast stones. So the Fixed Grid Pro, similar to the Fixed Grid 18, will use wind safes, which are sometimes referred to as uh, wind guards or wind deflectors. Uh, wind safes help to reduce the amount of ballast required by deflecting wind away from the system. Uh, they are available in various sizes depending on the preferred angle of the system 
and the length of the module. Uh, the wind safes are the only part of the system actually that requires any screws, uh, and they are attached using six millimeter uh, self-tapping screws. And so the wind safes are for south-facing systems, and this diagram shows you how they attach to the back uh, of the Elevation Pro vertical rail component using those uh, six by 25 millimeter self-tapping screws. So the fixed grid pro system is available in many orientations, and here we see it in a south-facing or single tilt. Uh, for the south-facing systems, it's available in five, 10, and 15 degree tilts, and the panels can be mounted in landscape at the moment uh, with portrait orientation set to be available in the coming weeks. We also continue to offer uh, adjustable inter-row spacing allowing freedom of configuration when designing systems. Uh, of course, our design tool will recommend a shading distance based on the location and the sun, uh, but we can increase or decrease this distance uh, based on customer preference. We also offer the Fixed Grid Pro in a dual tilt or east-west orientation. Uh, east-west systems, like the south-facing systems, are available in five, 10, and 15 degree tilts and also, like the south-facing systems, are available for landscape designs uh, and will soon have the option to be designed in portrait as well. So we recommend that the maintenance walkways are used on the high end of the panels to allow for easy access to the back of the module uh, and to help to reduce the wind load and decrease the amount of ballast required. Uh, but as I mentioned, with the south-facing systems as well, this can be adjusted based on specific project requirements. Uh, the Fixed Grid Pro requires minimum tools, sorry, minimal tools, and with the self-locking hardware-free splices, the stackable Elevation Pro vertical rails, and the swivel heads on the module supports, it can be assembled quickly and efficiently to speed up installations and ultimately reduce overall costs. And of course, with the trend continuing to move towards larger panels, uh, the systems are offered in a plus version, which is most popular here in North America, uh, with the panels clamped in the green zones, as shown here, with the Fixed Grid Pro Plus landscape version for south-facing, as well as for east-west dual tilt configurations. <clears throat> so our final component is also an upgrade on one of our components from the previous generation, uh, and this is the Rapid Pro middle uh, and end clamps. You'll notice that these clamps look very similar to the Rapid 16 clamps that we used with our classic line, uh, including the Fixed Grid 18, but there are some changes that have been made here. Um, the grounding pins remain on the clamping lip as a small sharp tab that makes contact with the module frame to bond the system. Uh, the claw on the Rapid Pro clamp has been upgraded from an M8 to an M10 claw for additional clamping strength. Uh, it is still pre-assembled uh, for fast, easy installation using a Torx wrench. Uh, one major advantage of the Rapid Pro clamps is that unlike the Rapid 16, where we needed one clamp for horizontal uh, and one clamp for vertical installs, this clamp actually works in both directions, reducing the amount of different components required. Uh, the Rapid 16 also has uh, had two heights, one for 30 to 40 millimeter modules and one for 40 to 50 millimeter modules. Uh, the Rapid Pro clamp can be used on modules from 30 to 47 millimeters in height which again, reduces the amount of different components required. Uh, they are available in a regular mill finish, as well as a black anodized version as well. So Schletter has supplied material for over 100 megawatts of flat roof mounting systems worldwide, uh, including the system pictured here, which is an 18 megawatt project that was supplied to Volkswagen in China. as well as this one pictured here, uh, which is a 9.8 megawatt fixed grid south facing system uh, for the Pirelli building in Germany. So detailed descriptions of layouts and ballast arrangements and weights can be found in the design reports that we produce for each project. Uh, the fixed grid pro offers up to 10% less ballast requirements compared to the fixed grid 18. 
Uh, and this will ultimately depend on the most important design factors, which are wind and snow loads, building height, roof pitch, terrain category, and module size. And then if the roof is limited on weight, we also offer the Fixed Grid Pro as an anchored solution, uh, similar to the one shown in the image here, to eliminate any need for ballast stones or additional weight on the roof. And these are just a few more examples of some of the larger systems we have installed worldwide. So we'll just finish up by going over some of the uh, planning and document documentation services that Schletter offers uh, through our sales team, our website, and our YouTube page. Our SCALC3 web calculator is now available for use in North America uh, and is set up for the entire ProLine series, including our Pro Rails and the Fixed Grid Pro. Uh, it's very user friendly and easy to learn and uses Google Maps to simplify layouts uh, and provide rooftop dimensions. Uh, the tool will print engineering reports as well as BOMs, uh, which can be forwarded to Frankensolar. The configurator can be found uh, in the download section of our website, which also contains a large library of other materials as well, including product sheets, uh, component overviews, brochures, and installation manuals. You can also visit our YouTube channel at Schletter Group, where you can find a number of installation and how-to videos uh, for all of our systems. And we do have a new component overview that's being released with the introduction of the Fixed Grid Pro as well. Uh, so please reach out to the Franken Solar sales team and they can provide you with the updated version. And finally, uh, I thought I'd leave you with a short video that the Schletter Group has recently released. Uh, which highlights our commitment to the solar, in, uh, the, the solar industry once again through our slogan of We Support Solar. And I'm hoping the sound works on this, but let's see. A little bit. Again, I'd just like to thank Frank and Solar one last time for allowing us to participate uh, in this event and for continuing to be a partner uh, that we are proud to work and grow with. Uh, thank you all very much for your time and attention. Uh, and with that, I will open it up for any questions. Thank you very much. <laughs>